Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, today was another one in the books on the way of beautiful weather across the area, and I think we're going to do basically a repeat as we get into our Wednesday afternoon. So here's a quick preview. First thing in the morning, you might need a light jacket again. It's that time of the year where the nights and mornings are a little on the cool side, but they're not bad, though. 46 to start out, and then by lunchtime tomorrow, we'll climb pretty close to 70. On our way to highs tomorrow, expected to be in the low 70s during the afternoon hours. Low humidity levels, lots of sunshine should be another picture-perfect day. Here's a look at your headlines. Sun and 70s. That's what I'm talking about, at least through the end of the week anyway. I don't see any weather concerns whatsoever until about Saturday. By the time we get to Saturday, I think we've got a good shot at some rain here. And Saturday actually looks like a fairly wet day. We could see a decent soaking before we cool things down as we head into next week. So here's a live look tonight. High atop Karoo Tower. If you look at the flags, you can see a light breeze out of the south tonight. And that's why temperatures won't fall too much further than where they are now. 52 degrees officially at the airport. There's that southerly breeze at 6. And although winds are light, it's just enough of a southerly component to help keep the temperatures up overnight tonight. So here we are once again. Most areas, unless you're in a valley or a low lying area, you're probably in the 50s. But some cooler spots Hamilton down to 45 already, down to 46 in Harrison, 44 over around Beebe, 47 Batavia. Everyone else in the 50s Mason, Springboro, Wilmington, Hillsboro, Mount Orb, Georgetown, all in the 50s, even 57 still holding down around the Brooksville area. Again, overnight tonight, if you're in a valley or low spot, You'll cool off a little bit more than everyone else, but in general, if you take an average across the board, most of us will start tomorrow morning in the mid 40s underneath mostly clear skies. And then, wow, what a terrific afternoon tomorrow will be with afternoon highs in the low 70s. We should only be really in the low to mid 60s. Our average high is about 63, so we're running almost a full 10 degrees above normal. So here's your hour by hour. First few hours on the cool side. By 10 a.m., we're already pushing 60 and then into the 70s after lunchtime, and you can see wall to wall sunshine from start to finish. This map is not going to change over the next couple of days around here. With high pressure large and in charge, all the active weather will remain off to our north and west over the next couple of days, so we don't have anything really to worry about. You'll see it here on future casts. Where this front is located, that's basically where your showers will be. This front will try to drop towards the Ohio River as we get into Thursday and Friday. It's not going to bring any rain. If anything, it'll bring a few more clouds around, but it's still going to be very nice. Here comes our wet weather maker that will eventually get in here by Saturday, and it looks like Saturday afternoon and Saturday night could turn out to be very wet. So 46 for a low tonight underneath mostly clear skies. It's seasonable cool for this time of the year. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny and pleasant. There's your high of 73. Here's your seven-day forecast. Look at that. Through the 70s, at least through Friday here, there's your shot at rain on Saturday. It will be cooler Sunday and heading into early next week. As you can see, those highs could be in the mid-50s by, let's say, this time next week. And those overnights back on the cool side of things again down into the 40s. All right, Kevin.